Welcome, welcome. Back to, a to dire, dire Dominion. Dominion. <laughs> this is Zentor as always, joined with Scudzy. And we've been slaying zombies as you see the death whoa, there's a hole. The death counter is gone and we now have a zombie slayer objective. So the more zombies you kill, the higher your score will become. And we have a couple rewards we've been hammering out. Um, if you make 100 zombie kills, you will get 32 iron. And that's anybody, not just the first person. You get 150 zombie kills, you will get uh, a couple of really cool potions. Night vision, two of them, and invisibility invis potions, two of them. Uh, Beyond that, I'm thinking 200, you will get a... 10 diamonds. 10 diamonds, there you go. And the grand prize winner, anybody who is the top of the list from there, will be getting a Zombie Slayer Sword, which is going to have Power 4, Unbreaking 3, and something else amazing, probably Flame or something like that. So that's what's going on with that objective. And this is starting today, and it's going to go through the first of the year. We'll probably do a tally after the second or something like that. So get in there, get it done, kill some zombies. I wanted to show you a couple things I didn't show you in detail in the resource center here in the upcoming news. The resource pack. I posted this before, but I wanted to let you know what's going on with that. So, I've started to play around with sound files for the server, and you've now been able to do, you've now been able to make your own sound files and add them as a resource pack, and so you can have them activate using redstone or signals or command blocks. So, in the future, I'm going to figure out how to do all that, and we're going to have some sound bites, either of my voice or of eerie sounds or of different things, but just look for that up in the future when you see a resource pack needing to be downloaded. Make sure you go ahead and download it. While we're at it though, since we're going to have to eventually do a resource pack, um, we need some texture packs, or at least try out some texture packs. So if you guys find a really cool texture and you want to try it out, um, let's go ahead and do it. We can try a few different ones, um, make them server-wide, downloaded, downloadable. So if you find a cool texture pack, um, please post it in the video description or send me a link. I don't like the themed ones, for instance, like the Halo packs or crap like that, so I probably won't have that in a download for us. But I've been a fond fond fan of Doku Craft, uh, John Smith, the sort of medieval feel ones, um, the higher resolution ones. Uh, obviously, we can't go too high because some people's computers can't handle it, but there are some really good ones out there, so... If you find one that's pretty cool, let me know, and we can set it up for a server-wide download. So I had a couple things on the roster for today. Um, one of them is I need to build an exchange. It's going to be the Cobble Exchange. Basically, you bring various resources to me. Sorry. You bring cobblestone to me, and I give you various resources of value, i.e. food, ores, um, buildable blocks that can be useful for you and I'm going to probably be building it over this way someplace. Before I get started with that also, i got to gather my resources and let you know that we're going to start construction, I think, on a nether station and a pathway to the nether fortress. So let me go ahead and go to my house, collect some stuff, and I'll be back with you guys. Oh, okay, it was just the... the, 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 the. Except for pop, 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 pop. And uh, into what? How did that? How did that go? Pum 
worries about it being like, uh, welcome, welcome back to, uh, Dire Dominion. <laughs> this is Zentor. <laughs> I'm so using this footage. <laughs> Hope you're having it. <laughs> In another part of town, completely unrelated to other events, it looks like somebody has shown some generosity. The once destroyed cobblestone cube has been partially reconstructed and blocks were donated by various prominent citizens of the town. So, whoever was living in this cube, you do have hope, sir. Alright, folks, we're back. And actually, I had recorded all the footage of me building the cobblestone exchange, but for some reason it was lost. So, anyway, I'm sorry I didn't get you the montage I promised, but this is the finished product, complete with a creeper. Um, I'll go inside here in a second, I'll show you exactly how everything is in working. I thought the X was appropriate being made out of cobble, since this is the cobble exchange. Alright. As you walk in, you are greeted by a sign that says welcome to the exchange and it gives you a book. You can just punch that and read it. It gives you information about the cobblestone exchange. I will go ahead and open it just for the sake of the video. There it is. <laughs> Over each chest it shows you what it costs to get the amount of item in this chest. So this is one double chest of cobble for one stack of leather. One single chest of cobble for 32 arrows. Two stacks of cobble for 16 eggs because I have a metric ton of eggs. Single chest of cobble for one stack of oak wood. Dark oak wood. I don't have the light. That's actually spruce. Oops. One single chest of cobble for one stack of bread. Got some in there right now. One single chest of cobble for one stack of charcoal. Single chest of cobble for 32 stakes. One single chest of cobble for two stacks of redstone. And one stack of cobble for one iron ingot. And one single chest of cobble for one diamond. You know, this isn't necessarily a deal, but I have excess stuff that some people may need, and cobblestone is extremely cheap, so, you know, you throw me an almost worthless item and I can use it for server projects, server construction projects, and in exchange you can get some stuff that I've been having some excess on. So anyway, you bring your cobble in here and just throw it right here on the mat and it goes through a system of hoppers down below. So that's the exchange. Glitchy doors. I do like that there blue glass. It looks really, really good. It was actually Scotty's idea to do the mossy cobble. I thought that was appropriate for the cobblestone exchange. <laughs> uh oh. Some aside, you asking for fools. By the way, if anybody decides to open up a colored glass shop, I will tell you I will buy because I love these colored glass blocks and don't feel like dealing with all the dyes. <laughs> Either that or open a dye shop. I can definitely do that too. And therefore something should be done about it. So the local leaders have decided that this hole will be filled in and a road will be constructed over it with a pet walking park so if you do have a home down here please evacuate whoa <coughs> please evacuate as this area has been deemed uninhabitable Apparently there's been an uprising in the town 
So you can see there's very angry citizens lurking about. I think it has something connected to the recent judgment on the gaping hole over there. Oh, I got a sniper on the roof. Take him out. <laughs> and one final tidbit, folks, before I leave for the night. I wanted to let you know we do have a TeamSpeak server as well, so anybody can use it. The uh, address for it is ts.bantamgames.net, and I also have it linked in the video description. Once again, thank you for watching, and have a good night.